Hello, my name is Ian Main. I'm Assistant Director at the National Army Museum and today I'd like to talk to you about this service dress tunic. I first encountered this tunic many years ago when I was a young curator and I catalogued it and at the time it struck me as a really evocative and important object with a real story to tell. The tunic belonged to a man called George Johnson who was a career soldier. He enlisted into the Middlesex Regiment in the 1890s. And before long, he was sent overseas to fight in the South African War of 1899 to 1902. By 1914, George Johnson was an experienced soldier. And we can see from this tunic, he bears two medal ribbons, that of the South African War and the Long Service Medal. And this is testimony to the fact that he was not only combat experienced, but he was one of the most experienced men in his battalion. This was recognised and the following year he was commissioned and as a result he had this tunic made at Flights Tailors in Winchester. Before long he was in France and he became part of one of the greatest battles uh, that the British Army undertook during the First World War. On the 1st of July 1916 a huge offensive had been planned on the Somme and the 2nd Battalion Middlesex Regiment was part of the big push. George Johnson and the other men of the battalion forged out across no man's land very soon came under heavy machine gun fire. George Johnson was hit several times and very quickly was taken to a regimental aid post where his wounds were treated. During this time, the sleeve of his jacket was cut away. He recovered from his wounds, but he was one of 57,000 men that day of the British Army who were either killed or wounded. Unfortunately for George Johnson, Battle of the Somme would be the last day as he was medically discharged from the regiment. He did, however, lead a full and long life and he didn't die until the 1960s when he was well into his 90s. He passed his tunic to his regimental museum and from there it passed into the care of the National Army Museum and today we regard it as a very important artefact which helps us document and remember this momentous of days.